Hello, welcome to a new studio vlog. I'm Louise, thank you for joining me here. I'm the person who runs Crafty Penguin, if you didn't already know. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. It's time for a new studio vlog. And this week is pretty much gonna be about me getting my products photographed, uploaded to my online shops, and then ready for Crafty Penguin's first birthday a week today. So here in the UK today, it's actually Bank Holiday Monday, which is quite nice, apart from the weather because it's chucking it down. But it means I'm not working my day job because it's a bank holiday. So I have time to do Crafty Penguin, which is awesome. So I have spent most of the day, I don't even know what time it is. So it's dinner time, it's 12 o'clock, and I've spent pretty much all morning just photographing my new products that I'm gonna launch for Crafty Penguin's third birthday. I thought it'd be nice to do that. And it's all the travel, penguin um, scooter design that you've seen so everything is made now everything's done and i've just had fun filming it all so this is the design that i'm on about if you haven't seen it already it'll have been up on my instagram and i think the last vlog was all about me designing it and everything so that's there that's what's all about and i've just been having some fun actually as well as just taking the product photos like i normally do to go on etsy and to go on craftypenguin.co.uk onto the shop on there i've also been having a little bit of fun trying to make some reels i haven't edited them yet just like recording little bits that i think might be useful and also maybe i might be able to use as videos within my shop so i've been having a bit of fun so i have this jacket that i don't really wear anymore but it's kind of nice for photography I don't really wear it. it's a little bit a little bit too small but it was all right for doing some photography so i've had the little pin badge the new pin i don't know if you can see it so i've put the new pin on my jacket and worn the jacket and then also i found a rucksack that i haven't used for quite a while that's quite a nice pattern and i thought it was quite nice to go with my design and put one of my badges on there so I've done like a little sketch of me like with my jacket on being excited about wearing the pin and then having it on my bag and I thought that might be quite nice to get people excited about my products and then I've also been doing the same the same kind of thing sat at my desk with my planner so this is my planner that I use and with that one like looking at the different sticker packs so we've got this one that's the like the planner sticker sheet and then I also made some large stickers. Let's take the penguin out so you can see. Some large stickers, there we go. Doing a little like sort of sketch of being excited about using those as well. So yeah, I've got all of the photography stuff still out right now. So I need to clear all that away. So I filmed lots of little tiny little clips that I want to try and edit together to make like little mini reels and see if, like I say, if I can use them within my shop because I know on Etsy you can use videos and I'm pretty sure in my Wix shop I can use them as well and I don't really take the advantage of it. So I'm going to go clear up now because there's like a tripod over there. There's a tripod that I'm talking to you on out right now and next to it today because it's quite dark and I've had the lighting set up for doing my photography I've left the light on so you can see me because it's actually quite dark in here because it's horrible outside, it's raining. Um, typical bank holiday weather here in the UK. So yeah I'm going to clear up get everything tidied up and then this afternoon I think it's going to be a bit of photoshop time editing these photos and then preparing them ready to go on to my online shops so that's the plan for this week product launch a week today 10th of May is a week today today is actually the 3rd of May in case you're wondering we're in 2021 um, in case you've forgotten <laughs> which is what I do frequently right now given every day just seems to be the same so yeah 3rd of may 2021 and in on the 10th of may is crash famous for birthday and i'm going to launch my new products i think i'm going to do it at my discount rate to, for like the first week to try and get some interest and um, that's something i've just been doing in a course with sam again from squeak and shout there's a different course every month in the confident creators club so i've just been taking part in that i did that yesterday that was one of the things she suggested to do so I'm going to give that a try and yeah, try and spark some interest around my product launch. I've already like yesterday also planned my social media for the week a little bit, which I always do because working full time, I can't really do it in the week. So I do it, 
um, on a weekend so that's done as well so let's see how we get on this week see you soon Hello, good evening. It's Wednesday evening. It's been a funny old week. I keep forgetting what day it is. I think that's something to do with the bank holiday on Monday. So it kind of like throws you out. I don't know when I last spoke to you. I think it might have been Monday because I had the day off my day job. So I was busy photographing lots of products, ready for one new design and then another little design as well that I finished off recently. I've had for a while that are going to get launched in my shop next Monday for Crafty Penguin's third birthday. So I've been working on those. They're all edited now so everything is in the background on my Etsy shop and on my website. Everything's there ready for me to just make visible to everyone on Monday and like publish. Really happy that's gone really well. Everything's photographed. I've got everything edited and uploaded. It's just sitting there waiting. And so yeah, there's all the travel penguin stuff's done. And we've done the coffee penguin on a little pin badge as well. Let me show you. Hang on. So we've got the coffee pin badge. That's here now as well. That's done. There we go. And then of course we have the travel pin. That one there that we were looking at the other day. So this little board is popped up a few times, I think. It's slowly getting more and more full now with all my different Crafty Penguin designs of badges. So there were the original, I think there were 10 originally that I had made by someone to start off with. And then I sort of added, I think three more now that I've like actually made myself because now I have my badge maker, I can do that. So that's why I decided, I think I want to make the pin badge of the little the coffee design is a little pin. I think that'd be quite cute. And obviously the travel pin to go with the, the new little collection. So they're all really cool. And then I was just sat at work today and I was thinking, oh, I think the coffee one would look really nice actually as a print because I made, I made the travel one as a print. It's something I want to add to my shop a little bit more so you can actually buy my designs as prints. I think that'd be quite nice. And here it is. So I've just, I've just been photographing it to try and get a few photos to go in my shop and everything and then I'll need to write the description for Etsy and for my, my shop at craftypenguin.co.uk Here it is! I think it looks really cute! So there's the printout of the Coffee Time one. It's on archival paper as well which is really really nice quality paper so it won't fade over time and it'll still look pristine. I think that would look lovely like in your kitchen just like coffee time or maybe you know a workspace you know where you're, you're making coffees things like that I've done this I've not done this before and I know lots of people have and I've been having a bit of a I don't know feeling a bit down about things because I've had no sales it's been really really quiet for the last month or so here at Crafty Penguin and I'm just like sort of I have ideas of things I want to do in the future with it but I don't know if I want to do I don't know, I, I don't really know. I have a few ideas what I want to do in the future, but I don't know what way to take them and I feel like I'm banging my head against a wall, bang, 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 this way and that way, trying to figure it out. So I decided to print off this, which I know loads of people have done, which is like the postcode map of Britain. And I thought it'd be nice to see where I've actually sold to and I'm quite surprised. It's kind of cheered me up a little bit when I was feeling a bit down about sales and is it really worth all this effort and, and things like that? Because I don't make 
loads of money from doing Crafty Penguin. It's more of a passion in the background that I would love to turn into an income one day. And this kind of made me feel a little better because there's quite a lot of places there that I've coloured in. I used like three different colours just to try and make it a bit more interesting. So we've sold to Scotland and we've sold to England. We sort of hit, I think it was like Herefordshire is on the border with Wales, but we haven't sold to Wales. So if you guys are in Wales, come on, what are you doing? You're missing out on Crafty Penguin. But yeah, seriously, I've enjoyed doing that. It's just kind of cheered me up a little bit today, seeing where I've actually sold items to in the last sort of probably mostly the last year actually because the first two years of Crafty Penguin I, I wasn't really online, I wasn't really selling things in that way and because of the pandemic and Covid and everything it's me, made me change the way that I'm selling. So that was really interesting. I think maybe I should get a world map next as well because I know I've had a few sales to different parts of the world so this year I've sold to Australia and Japan and America so it's actually quite nice when you think of it in that way instead of just thinking oh man I haven't had any sales for ages and is this really worth it so yeah just feeling a little bit down about that so hopefully like the new stuff that comes out next week will maybe cheer me up a little bit as well if people buy things that'd be really nice so I've still got like obviously this one to list in my shop and put it ready to go so I'm going to do that and then I'm on withdrawing my moo penguins that I think I might have shared with you already I'm trying to draw that up as well so that's where we're at it's Wednesday and we'll check in I don't know maybe Friday or tomorrow we'll see what we'll see what's going on okay that's your update catch you later <laughs> So it's now Saturday, I have everything listed in my Etsy shop ready for the couple of new designs that are going live on Monday for Crafty Penguin's third birthday, so excited and they're also listed on my website as well so you'll be able to get them everywhere which is really really good. Everything's done, ready, I just need to actually put them in the shop like first thing Monday morning when I get up before my working day. So what else have I been getting on with? Well, I've been getting on with the May, May penguins. So I've now drawn this one up digitally, which you can sort of see in the background, but I'll put a picture up on here for you so you can see what it looks like. So my 80s like penguin is done. And I started outlining the little burlesque one on the drawing tablet, but I haven't finished that. And I have just been working on a little design to celebrate Crafty Penguin's third birthday that I can put out on my pages on my social media and everything basically on Monday so I'll share that with you now as well so I hope you like that it's just a cheery little simple design just something to share and I've had a delivery this week I haven't done any screen printing for a while and it's something I really want to do a lot more of and I've had a delivery of four really well three really nice colours one's just white so that's not very exciting but I've had this nice set of colours turn up. There we go. So we've had these new colours turn up. I'm liking these two. And I wanted a yellow as well to mix in with some of my other colours. So the yellow is actually super opaque. And the super opaque is for like dark fabrics, like black t-shirts, things like that. But they don't do as many colours in it. But what you can do from what I've been finding out, the Hunt the Moon inks and probably with other inks as well is that you can mix them. So I've already got blue and red and yellow now. So I've got like all the primary colours so I can make most colours. Yeah, so I've got all the three primary colours so I can mix them as well. And I've got white so I can make them a bit more pastel colours if I wanted. 
and then like I say I bought I bought this nice shade of blue and like a violet colour I can't remember what the colours actually were on Hunt the Moon but they looked really cool so these are just for not dark fabrics anything that's not a dark fabric really so probably just white t-shirts and tote bags and things like that I'll probably use them for and then I just got white because <laughs> I was thinking I might want to make more pastel colours and the really vibrant colours as well so they came this week I've also ordered some paper I forget what it's called and I thought it'd be on the packaging but it's not it's just in an envelope that Hunt the Moon do Ooh, it kind of feels almost like a vinyl it's just it just looks like a white sheet but it's kind of got like a vinyl feel to it that they do for making screens and I just wanted to try it because I have the, the make your own screen things but I'm having real trouble being able to get any blank screens to print on I have got some I managed to get some on eBay a couple of months ago ready for when I want to do some screen printing but I can't get them so I was trying that out I don't think it's going to be as good because you have to cut them out yourself or maybe I can use a silhouette to cut them out so new inks have arrived that's so exciting I love that so hopefully soon you're going to get to see some more screen printing I'm looking forward to that and yeah I've just drawn like I say the design for Crafty Penguin's third birthday so everything's ready to go for Monday so I think we're going to leave this vlog here and then in the next vlog you can find out what happens on Crafty Penguin's third birthday if we get any sales if people like the new products all that kind of thing I think that'll be a nice way to start a new video so if you've enjoyed this video of course give it the thumbs up we love that that's so nice and hit the bell button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget check out www.craftypenguin.co.uk for everything crafty penguin the shop all the information anything you want to know so thank you so much for watching bye bye